My name is Rapsing. Welcome back to Slay the Spire Modded. Uh, it is episode 200. Yes, there has been a significant delay between this episode and the previous episode of the series. Uh, part of it brought to you by the fact that I took a week off to stream, which I mentioned at the top of each series as they returned on the channel, so I'm mentioning it here. Uh, but also part of it due to the fact that I didn't have time to record the episode 200. Because for episode 200, I'm going to want to kind of do something similar to what I did for episode 100, which is an endless run. So we have Infinite Spire installed at the moment, and I'll also turn on Start Game with Endless Quest. You also have the base mod, SES Lib, Always Whale, Colored Map, Relic, Sword, and Unknown Chances. Uh, all of those just sitting around. We've got only the one Kitchen Sink mod in Infinite Spire, but Infinite Spire also gives us the ability to go endless. Love all of that. Uh, and on top of all of that, we've also added Marissa. as Marissa from the Toho Project as a new playable character. So whenever you're considering going into endless mode, especially endless mode in modded, uh, where it can be pretty damn harmful, you're going to have to think, okay, cool, well, what's my build going to be in the late game, right? In the second and third loop through the game, what's my build going to be? I need a character that has the ability to scale towards that. Uh, and the only thing that I could think of for the Guardian that scales well in that direction is constantly upgrading a refracted beam. And I've done that a lot recently. So instead, I've decided to pick another character, which I think also has a fair few ways, in fact, to have a really, really successful long run. Uh, we're also going to be starting in Ascension 1. Because the run gets harder and harder and harder as it goes on, and I don't want to die in the third loop. <laughs> and be like, oh, well, we were going to do something cool, so there's two hours of wasted time. Sorry, y'all. Bye. Uh, removing cards from Marissa's deck is absolutely incredible. Uh, so remove a strike and defend here. So Marissa, in case you're unfamiliar, is the Ordinary Magician. It starts with Mini Hakuro. Uh, whenever you play a card, gain one charge up. Charge up for every eight stacks of charge up you have at any one time. Double the damage of your next attack and consume eight stacks of charge up. Uh, but they stack, right? So if you have eight, you do double damage. If you have 16, you deal quadruple damage. And I'll let you figure out how that gets insane really, really quickly. So I do want to fight three elites this floor. Picking up early relics is going to be really, really important to us. So there's also Amplify. Uh, if you have enough energy to play the Amplify effect, you play the Amplify effect. So whenever I play a card, I gain one charge up. So obviously I want to play as many cards as possible so that I can gain that charge up. Uh, Star Barrage deals 7 damage one time. Every time this card is played, it deals damage one additional time for this combat. We can take this and then we have a win condition for upcoming normal combats. Oh my god, if we just keep removing cards from the deck and Star Barrage, that's, that's a deck. Preserved Insect. Enemies in elite combats have 25% less HP. What? It is absolutely insane this is going to work for us. Spore Crump, Non-Directional Laser, and Serious Beam. <laughs> Non-Directional Lasers deal 5 damage to all enemies and then 5 to a random enemy. Mysterious Beam being deal uh, add a random attack to your hand. It is also an attack itself. Deal damage equal to the damage of the card added. And Spore Crump. This actually became significantly better recently, I think. Uh, Spore Crump, add 2 vulnerable to an enemy. Uh, and then also apply 2 vulnerable to all enemies instead. Take none of those. Probably these two. I do want to go for all of the elites as well. As I mentioned prior. But while I'm doing that, I'd like to not die. Right, attack potion generates something real big. Collecting quirk. Haha. <laughs> Deal nine damage to a random enemy for every four relics you have. This is going to be a great way for us to scale into late game. Unfortunately, it doesn't work for us right now. <laughs> Deal six damage, add a spark to your hand. We have the spark and then play the spark. Play another attack, play another attack. And now we have charge up active so we can master spark for lethal. All the smooth stone started combat with one dex as well as blazing star deals 
14 damage applies seven additional damage for each burning your hand amplified to deal additional damage i'd love to run that build i've just never got it to work yet uh, orbital unplayable whenever this card is drawn draw one card if the card is exhausted place one card from your exhaust pile into your hand hmm i mean if i'm never gonna exhaust it there's no reason to take it uh and sprinkle star seal fine it's fine it's pretty impactful it's too impactful to turn down my opinion just evolving over time in real time there as well I can't just kill this turn, can I? No. Six and then 16. Yeah, it's not going to be a kill. Damn it. So I will end up taking three damage over the course of this entire combat. I say three because we heal back up the damage from the other source. Uh, six, six, C... Innate, deal 8 damage, deals double damage if there's no cards in your discard pile. Gravity Beat, deals 9 damage and applies to weak to all enemies, as well as Earthlight Ray. Heal for 4 HP, Exhaust. It also amplifies to add a random card from your discard pile into your hand. Earthlight Ray is actually a really good way for me to bring back Star Barrage. Uh, Star Barrage wants to be upgraded, but most important is upgrading things that then become zero cost right now. Bread of a Washoku Lover. Heals 3 HP whenever you source the status or a curse. When triggered 13 times, you gain 13 max HP and the relic no, no longer works. Uh, I guess that means that I hope my next fight is against the Sentinels. Neat. I should be able to exhaust 8 over the course of this. It's, sorry, 13 over the course of this. Defend and then just Star Barrage to increment it. Get rid of the Sprinkle Star Seal. Ooh, a double defense turn. I really wasn't expecting one of those. I should probably only let one target be on the board at any one time. While I do want the Washoku Lover to go off here. Ideally, I don't take too much damage while I'm making it happen. There's not too many other sources of dazed in the entire game. So I think it's important to take this while I have the ability to get it. I only need to exhaust one more. Really? Are you actually... You know what? No. I'm not taking another nine damage there for it. Bottled Soul. Upon pickup, choose an exhaust card. Whenever you play that card, it no longer exhausts. Sprinkle Star Seal. No longer exhausts. Just apply nine, nine weak to everyone. I can also put it on the Earthlight Ray. Have a ridiculous amount of HP. All right. Fairy Destruction Ray, deal 4 damage to all enemies, amplify with 2 extra energy, insta-kill those with 15 or less HP, Mana Convection, draw 2 cards, exhaust 2 cards. If you have 8 or more charge up, lose 8 charge up and gain 2 energy. Occultation, discard your draw pile, gain 1 block for each card discarded. Not going to want any of those. Now, it's just whether or not I use the Bottled Seal to hold Earthlight Ray, or to hold Sprinkle Star Seal, or to hold nothing. Earthlight Ray. The reason to hold nothing with it there is because now that the now that, that card is in a bottle, I can't remove that card from my deck. So if that matters to me, and it does a little bit. It's a little bit of a concern. Alright. Uh, let's 
Star Barrage here, and then Earthlight Raid to get the Star Barrage back. Oh. A random card from your discard pile. Why did I think it was not a random card? Obviously, I thought I was about to... Oh, God. Really badly done on my part. Uh, obviously, I thought I was going to pull back Star Barrage there so that I was going to get the lethal. And then I thought that I had enough energy in order to get the Amplify effect, but I didn't. Ugh, it all went bad. Uh, Grand Cross. Gain, uh, deal 13 damage, costs 0 if you activate an Amplify effect this turn. Refraction Spark deals 4 damage, increase the damage of all Spark cards in your hand by the unblocked damage dealt, and amplifies to deal more damage. And Illusion Star, put 2 cards, two random cards into your hand. Put a card from your hand on top of your draw pile, and it exhausts. Take one of those. I do want to go to the shop, but I want to go to the Elite more. Right, Earthlight Ray costs an energy when I'm using it to pull something back. I keep forgetting that. For some utterly unknown reason. Star Barrage, Mana Convection, and Fairy Destruction Ray. We've seen those before. No, thank you. Hell yes, just increment that charge up as best we can here. 10 damage one time, that's unfortunate. Probably the right time to wake the enemy up. I do want the Star Barrage to hit multiple times. It's rising Sweep. Bring back the Rising Sweep. Rising Sweep again. Mm, double defend. And next turn, I'm just going to blow you up. Cool. Almost. I will take two damage over the course of this fight, but... Got to remember to use the Earthlight Ray every single time I get it. Goodbye, Lug Vulan. Hello, Pendib. Every tenth attack, every tenth attack you play deals double damage. Stack that on top of a charge up effect and just go off. Uh, absolute magnitude deals two damage, e uh, damage equal to two times your charge up. Uh, I could be taking that there. All right, so another Smith. I do, yeah, a a card, not a random card. Okay, so we'll upgrade the Earthlight Ray. So this is all actually working how I'd initially intended. Fair chunk of initial damage, and now we have some slimes that we get to burn out of this deck as well. Burning those slimes out is obviously going to be really good for the bread of the Washoku Lover. Oh, beautiful! 50 apiece right now. Okay, so I can pull back... Pull back 30 damage to a single target. That's okay. Never mind. I play this on a different target, and that's lethal. And hell, I've even got a double damage ready for my next attack. Hell yes. Uh, three quests of the quest log. We do actually need to look at the quest log as well. Uh, what? Huh? Where's the endless quest? Game? Excuse me? Uh, definitely take Treasure Hunter. Deals 12 damage to a non-minion enemy. Sorry. Uh, deals 12 damage if it kills a non-minion enemy in a elite or boss room. At the end of combat, obtain one random relic. Definitely take that. And then I probably don't need too many more card selections. So Busted Crown I can probably get rid of here. No, it's Sozu. Yeah, um, I currently don't have the quest that it actually allows me to go infinite here. Let's just check. Mods. 
Infinite Spire, Configure. Yeah, start game with Endless Quest. I have that active. Oh, really? We'll just take that again, I guess. Yeah, I have the Endless Quest active. It's just not here. Please don't tell me it's already been removed. No. <laughs> oh, God. If this, if this doesn't go Endless, then... I'll figure something else out, but this will still be episode 300. 300, sorry, 200. I don't know why this doesn't happen. Um, I mean, if I kill a, a, a nightmare, right? That's supposed to be the trigger condition. So I should probably still just do that. See if it works. And I don't want to kill a nightmare after I've picked up the keys. I'll specifically avoid picking up keys here. All right. Um, I can star barrage and I can earthlight ray to bring back the star barrage. But now I can only double defend. Or I can play the star barrage. Yeah, I'm going to play the star barrage again. Cop this six damage. This isn't a elite or a boss room, so the treasure hunter relic is not going to work for us here. Uh, deep ecological bomb deals seven damage from random enemy and reduces its strength by two this turn. Amplify for an extra energy to apply the effect again. Shooting echo, exhaust a random card in your hand, and add a shooting echo to your hand deals nine damage. Hopefully this shot contains something real, real impactful. Twenty-four damage to a single target with the treasure hunter. Sure. In two more attacks time, I've got another double damage coming up from the mini hakuro. Perfect. We even get to Star Barrage into the kill. Okay. Robbery. Deal seven damage. E uh, gain gold equal to the unblocked damage dealt and double the gold you gain on the amplifier there. Does exhaust itself as well. Uh, yeah, I definitely want to fight. I definitely want this mask. Should probably use an ancient potion here, I feel. Star Barrage is obviously the card I should have played there. Uh, for some reason, I thought that I had one extra energy than I did at that point in time. I'll play the exact same turn, just... Oh, yeah, it's because I played the Master Spark first. I've got to remember not to do that. So all exactly the same stuff. Because I wasn't even thinking about the Amplify effect, unfortunately. For attack, and then we get some double damage going on. I guess I'll treasure hunt you, sure. And then I'll Earthlight Ray back a Star Barrage, which is enough to kill a single target instantly for us. Hey! Leave the weakened one on the board, obviously. And we get Red Mask at the side of each combat. Apply one weak to all enemies, as well as Luminous Strike. Witch of Greed and Charging Up. Luminous Strike deal damage equal to two times the number of cards in your hand. Amplifies to deal damage equal to four times your current energy instead. Uh, Witch of Greed, at the end of combat, gain 15 gold. Amplify it to also gain a random potion. And Charging Up, gain five charge up. Exhausts. Ooh. Okay. Thinking I kind of just want to get Relics exclusively from now on out and remove cards from the deck obviously so let's take a gremlin horn and remove a super strike and should i also take the yeah i'll take the regal pillow as well extra effectiveness out of resting is extremely my jam Let's 
Star Barrage, and then we'll Earthlight Ray to bring the Star Barrage back. Damn. Unfortunately, our Pen Nib and Charge Up were out of sync with one another, though. Magic Chant. Choose up to two cards to upgrade and retain this turn. No. Thanks for the offer, though. Extremely kind of you. All right, let's see if we can get the Treasure Hunter to be our kill here. Oh, well. Hmm, that's not looking good. I'll persist for a little bit here. Mm, I could get the full block this turn as well as eight more damage. I don't think that eight more damage is really going to clinch it for me. So let's throw out two extra attacks here. Fully defended. We do almost have charge up coming up as well. Yeah. Star Barrage. And then I'll Earthlight Ray back a Star Barrage and kill with the Treasure Hunter. Getting myself an extra relic. Uh, Lucky Rock, whenever you play an attack, you have a 5% chance of getting critical. Critical being the next attack you play deals double damage. Upon pickup, gain 30 gold. You're 10% more likely to find treasure in question mark rooms. And 6A, deal 4 damage. Gain block equal to the unblocked damage dealt. Ooh. Right. Well, we start with Star Barrage, then we bring back Star Barrage, and then we play Star Barrage again, right? And to make it a single strike next turn. It's a good setup. It's only a single strike against you. A pretty good weaken. It's just whether or not I want to use the Master Spark here, and I do. I do. We'll happily double the damage on that one. So it's Star Barrage, Earthlight Ray back to the Star Barrage. Use that again. <laughs> and drawing the Star Barrage, might as well. Gas Giant, gain 20 block, add two burns to your hand. There's also warming up. Deal one damage, add a Rising Sweep, a Spark, and a Witch Ley Line to your hand. Uh, just a bunch of other cards. And one time off, gain five block. You can't activate Amplify effects this turn. Draw one card next turn. Eh. It's okay, I guess. Ooh, Star Barrage. Then we Earthlight Ray back the Star Barrage. Yes. This is my favorite part of the whole thing. Oh, we have double damage active. Well, Star Barrage should go against the back line then, right? It has to. It's too much damage not to. Well, I was really hoping I was going to get an extra door that turn. If this kills a non-minion enemy in an elite or boss room, okay, so it has to kill the gremlin leader. That's not going to happen next turn. But it does mean my extra damage probably goes to the Gremlin Leader. My next attack deals double damage. Master Spark is lethal. Wow. If I didn't play that attack against the backline last turn, I actually would have been better off here. I am so annoyed. So I've got two double damages active at the moment. Murder you with that. Myself an extra little bit of damage. Star Barrage. Oh, Rising Sweep. 
could try and pull back the Rising Sweet, but it's already Treasure Hunter for the kill. Strawberry, upon pick up, raise your max HP by seven, as well as more bank. Whenever you climb a floor, gain 12 gold. You no longer works whenever you spend gold at a shop. Uh, Meteonic Shower, exhaust up to X plus one cards. Deal four damage to a random enemy two times for each card you exhausted, or three times for each burn exhausted. And open universe, shuffle five random cards into your draw pile. Each of them has a 30% chance to be upgraded. Draw three cards. Smiling Mask, the merchant's card boost service now always costs 50 gold. Always a fan of that. In fact, we'll probably immediately remove now. Ooh, Apotheosis. Deck is way too thin to use that. Prismatic Shard is interesting. Gives me the ability to pick up cards from any other character. I only have the other base characters installed at the moment, so it'd, it'd just be Searing Blow. The build would just be Searing Blow at that point. No, we don't want Prismatic Shard. Dilutes the possible results. Uh, we don't actually want Potion Belt here. <laughs> Amplification Wand. Whenever you activate an Amplify effect, gain four block. Uh, we do that with Earthlight Ray, but occasionally with Master... I don't think that's common enough. I think we save the rest of this money for a later shot. We will always have later shots, obviously. Kind of a completely garbage fight so far. Damn it. Have to use that whole rising sweep and the whole charge up doing nothing really. Two attacks this turn. Come on, lethal. Ah, wow. That's just annoyance. Come on. Lethal. Found it. Uh, Ori Sun is one of the charge ups to consume, deal 11 damage to all enemies. Energy recoil, game blocky, would you charge up? Nope. Don't need him. All right, Nightmare. No, no quest has been added to my log right now. Okay. I'm hoping that was how it was going to go. Um, Star Barrage, Earthlight Ray back to Star Barrage, and go for it again. I mean, Treasure Hunter being used for this kill here is obviously the best that we can do. Okay, so I could double the damage of the Star Barrage. And 25% less. Okay, so 25% less, but doubled, so... Means it'd be 15, 15 three times. That's not sweet. That's not going to transform the enemy. Oh, and we've got double damage for our next attack. Great. Okay. Yeah, we can actually set up this uh, treasure hunter. Right? We'll defend. Earthlight Ray back the defense. Play the defend again. We'll do 24 damage here. Oh, I should as well, yeah. Yeah. That's 32. And 24. No, it's not enough. Ah! Okay, we do 23 with the Master Spark and then finish with the Treasure Hunter. Good God. Okay, Focusing Shard. For each you climb, get upgrade a random card at the start of combat as well as ornamental fans, right? Every time you play three attacks in a single turn, gain four block. And Unstable Bomb. Deal random damage to one to four. To a random enemy four times and upgrade all attacks on your hand, deal three additional damage to this combat. Uh, and that did not change our win cons at all. Hmm. Okay. Hang on. Let me see if I can find endless? No. Event? Oh, that's not going to do it. Uh, 
loop? No. Inf? No. Info? Is info get Whoa, that is way too much info. Info off. Is there anything here that is going to allow me to loop? So I don't know why it's not working at the moment. Maybe it just doesn't work for this character? I thought it worked for all characters, though. I hope it's not something that I just overlooked. Something dumb that I should have known. I think I upgrade all my strikes and defends. It feels like I need those defends in the deck right now. Uh, one of the big problems with... Big problems, I say. Uh, one of the big elements of this character is that they don't deal that much damage. Sorry, not that they don't deal that much damage. What was I trying to say there? Uh, it's, it's not that they don't deal that much damage. It's just that they uh, don't defend well. That's what I meant to say there. They deal a ridiculous amount of damage. They just don't defend well, and they also don't draw well. Both of those would be pretty dangerous things to put on this character. The ability to draw well, obviously giving you the ability to charge up Mini Hakuro a little bit too easily. And obviously the ability to defend well, allowing you to charge up Mini Hakuro too easily. Just wait for a singular large strike. 17, yeah, that increases the range of that a lot. Ooh. Good turns. Good turns. Right. So. Star Barrage kill a target somehow. Star Barrage kills a Torchhead for me. I get to draw an extra card. Ooh. Master Spark kills another Torchhead for me. I even get to Earthlight Ray back the Star Barrage and go again. Ooh, that's brutal. Even a full defense. Wow. Let's bring back the Star Barrage again and 120 damage. Pretty good. Looks like we might actually get the Trash Hunter off. Okay, so that's 70. It's already lethal. Don't want to use that. This weakness is going to help us tamp down the amount of damage we do. Earthlight Ray brings back the Rising Sweep. Rising Sweep now sets us up with... Oh my god! With both the double damage from charge up and the double damage from critical. So 51 damage to a single target. I'll be taking my incense burner. Every six turns gain one intangible as well as... Is that one of the things I had? No, apparently not. Uh, absolute magnitude, supernova and supernova is the only new one here. No longer take damage from burn. Whenever you exhaust a burn, gain one strength. Exhaust your hand at the start of... Uh, sorry, the end of each turn. Uh, yeah, we're probably not resting anymore. <laughs> So we can take the coffee dripper at this point. Yeah, I I don't really know why this didn't work. I will have a little bit of a configuration of this off screen. But at the very least, in the meantime... Hey, look! A Marissa run! Let's call this like episode 900... 900, sorry. Uh, 199.5. How about that? And this time, I'll actually get to episode 200. Um. It feels like this build definitely dies versus the, the heart, but also that I should probably just do it. Damage on the next attack. If we play the right cards first, 
Uh, no, we're not going to be able to. It's fine. Um, oh, no, I had to charge up on that. Damn it. Ryan. It's okay. As long as I'm incrementing the star barrage, everything's fine. Oof, rough. I mean, hell, if we can get the kill, more than happy to. Uh, charge up spray. This card consumes charge up, gain energy, and draw two cards. Uh, as well as blaze away. Play the last attack you played this turn two times. Ooh. That's a really powerful star barrage. I wonder if it synergizes with star barrage. Let's find out. I wonder if it increments Star Barrage for me. Damn. <laughs> if only I didn't draw there, I could have checked it out already. Oh, never mind. I can still check it out. Cool. Star Barrage. And then... Defend, blaze away, play Star Barrage. And it incremented each time. Wild. Oh, that's incredible. Uh, Dragon Meteor, gain, sorry, deal 14 damage. Deals an additional damage for each card in your exhaust pile, as well as Machine Gun Spark. Deal one damage six times. Exhausts. Oh, that exhausts now? I didn't think it used to. Yeah, lose the Master Spark. I am more than happy to remove that from the deck. Thank you, game. Um, upgrade all cards. You can only heal. No, we already have them all upgraded. Oh my god. Rising Sweep. Blaze Away. I don't want to Blaze Away Rising Sweep. I was thinking of doing it, but no. It's got to be the Star Barrage. I kind of want to defend Earthlight Raid Defend instead. Yeah, really not take way too much damage in this combat if we can avoid it. If I play that Rising, I'm going to lose my charge up. So we'll hold off for a moment. Ooh. Bring that back and go for double damage even yet again. Okay, so we've got two double damages lined up. They're our next. <laughs> Magic Flask. Uh, at campfires, the rest option may now be taken for free. I mean, we can't take it at all, but can do it for free. Uh, this consumes one use. Starts with three uses. Kill bosses to gain two more uses. Bunch of stuff we don't want there. Uh, handmade Grimoire. At the start of battle, for every 15 cards in your master deck, gain an energy and draw a card. <laughs> oh, it's so good for us. Wow, we actually can rest. So, uh, the flask overrides Coffee Dripper. Good to know. Good to know. Well, I can't rest, but I can drink. So. I mean, I guess I have exactly one card left in the deck to Smith. I may as well just go for it. Oh, uh, yeah, I screwed up my pathing ages ago. That was, that was why I was going to go to that shop so that I could pick up the, the Sapphire Key. Oh, well. If I can't do it, I can't do it. No use dwelling on it. Ooh. Okay, hang on. Star Barrage. We'll pull it back into hand. And then I'll blaze away, playing Star Barrage twice and then three times. Aww. It doesn't increment this Star Barrage. It increments the Star Barrage that's being played at the time. Oh, well. That's still good, but it does mean that I want to build my Star Barrage before I play that, rather than the inverse. Do 
decent damage. 47 isn't enough for me, though. Hang on, now I have Pendib and Charge Up active. That's our lethal. <laughs> Beetle Shell. Gain te uh, every 10th time you gain block from a card, gain double the block and bronze scale. Started to combo three thorns. Uh, flex is also. Flex, sorry. Flux is also now going, so quickly turn that off. Uh, ultimate Shortwave. Gain energy and one charge up. Increase the charge up gain of this card by one and the energy gain of this card by one for the battle and upgrades to increase the charge up by two instead of by one. I mean, it's fine. I'm not going to sniff at it. I can mumbles. It's not a huge combat to apply one vulnerable to all enemies. It's pretty good. I mean, obviously, Medical Kid is ridiculous with this character, but it's a bit far for that. Okay. Uh, I guess I remove another defender at this point as well. Sure. Zero cost defense is actually really powerful for us. We don't actually have that much draw in the deck either. So it's not like we're using all of our energy. And it's not like we can get that much draw in the deck overall at all. Uh, the boot. Whenever you do four or less unblocked attack damage, increase it to five. Well, now Machine Gun Spark obviously is incredible. Madness can make other cards cost zero, but without much draw in the deck, we're going to have difficulty using them anyway. So it seems like I was about to choose to give myself a benefit that I knew that I could never utilize. For some reason, that to me doesn't sound like the best idea. Yeah, I don't, I don't need the relic from this one. Minus Blood, whenever you take HP damage, gain two gold, as well as Event Horizon, two times each turn, whenever you activate an Amplify effect, you may put an attack from your discard pile into your hand. No. I mean, it only gets me back, like, Earthlight Ray is the only Amplify, and it already gets me back the only card that I want. Savage as hell damage right there. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Asteroid Belt. Gain 11 block. Amplify it. Next turn. Also gain 11 block. Use also non attack cards in your hand. Deal 7 damage to all enemies twice. God, the art on this has gotten so much better since I last played. Ooh. Just got that polish. That real kind of polish going on. I need to throw out a treasure hunter here. Actually, I kind of probably should have much earlier in that combat then. I was going to. Right. Bring this back. Play it again. Should probably double defend rather than blaze away. I don't want to blaze away. And blaze away also defended us by giving us uh, the trigger of the ornamental fan. My god. That could not have been ordered worse if I tried. Awful play there on my part. Let's bring back the Star Barrage. And... Now we actually get to win. Phew. Magic Chant? No, we've seen that. Earthlight Ray, we've seen that. And Illusion Star? Yeah, we've seen all of these. Uh, I'll go fight another Nightmare just in case I have to fight another one in order to unlock the thing. I don't know. Maybe. Probably not, but maybe. But probably not. Let's be real. Um, I'll still try and use the Treasure Hunter for Finisher. Oh, I got interrupted halfway through my turn. 
Damn it, Blaze Away. did not actually want to deal 90 damage with that card right there because of exactly that. Okay, I'm going to Rising Sweet, bring back the Rising Sweet, use that. Now I've got double damage on the Treasure Hunter and it's not enough. Oh, yeah. Aim. You're a slippery one, video game. You're an absolute slippery one. It's not going to work. Bring back to defend. Play the defend. Alright. Now all I have to do is... Wait one more turn, and then... Yeah, 51 damage is pretty damn good. We'll go for that. Uh, Art of War, if you have played no attacks at the end of your turn, gain an extra energy next turn, and War Pain to Pompic up upgrade to random skills. We don't actually have that many skills in the deck, so... Guess I'll just drink, and then recall the Ruby Key. Nothing else I can really do. Damn it! Maybe it'll pop up after all of this. Maybe. I am still holding out hope. That said, I'm not going to act like it is. Ooh, really glad it didn't choose to fight the Master of Shapes every single time there. Earthlight Ray back the Star Barrage. Use the gain. Hey, getting us immediately back the same Star Barrage. Wild. I'll deal my 80. Ooh, we even got trans uh, transparency. Not transparency, but... Uh, What's it called? I uh, even got intangibility this turn. I'll make sure to play the days here just to increment Mini Hakuro. We have double damage for our next attack from the critical as well. Oh, hell yes. We should just be able to blow up the backliner now. And I'll Earthlight Ray that back and... Go for the kill. Sure, at my own cost of 30 HP, but we got the kill. 12, 12. No, it's definitely looking like the run ends. Damn it. I held off on recording this episode for maybe a week exclusively. Maybe a week? Probably about half a week. Exclusively due to the fact that I wanted to run an infinite run. Damn it. This is what I get for not testing ahead of time. For the moment, though, my name is Ben Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Slay the Spire modded episode 9... Not 900. It's not 900. Why do I keep thinking it's 900? Uh, 199.5. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully we'll see you next time.